Hi kids, I uh, hope you guys are doing good today. I just want to tell you how much I miss your faces and I am excited to be able to do this video to help you guys learn what you would be if you were still in class today. Now, last week, Mr. Jim talked a lot about faith and how we build faith and do great things with faith. But today I want to talk to you about one of the biggest enemies of faith, which is fear. Now, there's a lot of times in the Bible we hear so great stories about when there was warriors and people who overcame their fear and did great things in God's name. But I just wanted to tell you about some of the times in the Bible that there were people who were paralyzed by their fear. Now, I want to tell you first about Elijah. Now, the reference verse for here is 1 Kings 19. I'll let you look that up on your own. But so... We're coming off of a time when Elijah had come from a great victory. You see, there was a challenge with the prophets of Baal, essentially to see whose God would come through for them and do this great work and uh, set fire to these sacrifices themselves, with like no effort by the people, but just fire from heaven. And the prophets of Baal spent all day trying to get it and nothing happened obviously but then elijah just like he had all that drenched in water so you think hey how would that ever like burn up and then he just was like hey god can you do this Whoosh! and it happened so after this uh they en ends up having all the prophets of Baal killed and that did not make the queen happy so queen jezebel was so ticked she sent word to elijah essentially telling him i'm gonna hunt you down and i'm gonna kill you and Elijah got terrified. After such a great victory, he let his fear grip him. And he pretty much went to God and said, Lord, just kill me now. And then essentially God had him take a nap and gave him a snack to eat. Eat a Snickers, Elijah. You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> now the next story I wanna to talk to you about is Peter. Now we all know Peter, he was a great guy, right? So he was one of the only people we know of who's walked on water, just like Jesus. He was a great apostle, but he even let fear paralyze him. When Jesus was arrested and he was going to be tried and crucified, Peter went and he, when people asked him, aren't you that guy who runs with Jesus and his group? And he was like, nope, nope, I don't know him. He denied him three times. Now the reference for that is uh, Luke 22 for you to read. Now the last one I want to talk to you about is the Hebrew people when this entire group of people let fear paralyze them. Now the reference for this is Numbers 13 and 14. So they had been, they had their exodus from Egypt. They had been wandering the wilderness to go to their promised land, the land God had for them. And when they got there, Moses sent out 12 spies to look at the land and come back with a report. And when they came back, 10 of them had let the fear paralyze them and told them, there are giants in the land. How can we fight against them? They are these great people. And they were so afraid and their fear was infectious. It infected the people of Israel. And there was only the two other spies who stood up and said, this is our land. But the people listened to the 10. And because of that, they were sent back into the wilderness for 40 more years before they could have what God would promise them. Now, with all these stories about how real paralyzing fear can be, I want to talk to you about ways that we can keep building faith and combat that fear. Now, some of these verses here that we can use to overcome fear, I'm sure you know this one. 2 T Timothy 1 through 7. Now, I want you to repeat this after me. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he has given unto us a spirit of love, a spirit of power, and a sound mind. God, awesome kids, I know you know it. Now Psalms 23, four is another great one. Even though I walk through the valley of darkness, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And also a great one is Psalms 91. That entire chapter is all about protection and God and how we can take comfort in that. And that's one of the reasons why we're trying to get you to memorize this because it's one of your great weapons against it. 
And I want to talk to you about some songs that I know they minister peace and comfort for me when I'm scared. There's the song Peace the, that we sing in praise and worship. It's peace be still. You are here and it is well. That one, I love that one. And other ones like Fight My Battles, which that's the, all about this. We're fighting our battles against fear because it's a, it is a battle. But the thing is, our God, our God, it's through Jesus we are overcomers. So we will win these battles. Mm -hmm. Waymaker is another great one, just claiming what God is and how he can come through for you. And one of my personal favorites is Prophesy. And I want to talk to you a minute about Prophesy. I love it because the way these lyrics are, these it's so important because it's the word of the Lord in my mouth. Because our Bible, that is our sword, the sword of the Spirit. But the way we activate and use our sword is with our tongues. And so what makes it powerful is when it's in our mouth. So it's the word of the Lord in my mouth to bring about the change. And it's when you're walking with God, it's in your power, I step out. Because you it's stepping out in faith and using God's power. That is one of the reasons why I love prophesy so much is because these are the truths that you, we need to learn. Now, I wanna just close this out in prayer. So the Lord, I know you all just out, arms out to the side on the count of three. One, two, three. God, I just wanna pray with you today for all these kids that if any of them are dealing with fear, that you are your, their comfort and their peace and you will minister peace to them and help them to remember these tools and weapons they have in their arsenal to fight fear at every turn, for it has no place in them. Lord, thank you again. In Jesus' name, amen.